Building a car is hard. There are a lot of parts that need to fit together in the right order and function perfectly to make it all work. It's complicated, but when automakers get it right, those vehicles are typically lauded as being great and reliable and treasured by their owners. When manufacturers get it wrong, at best, the car becomes the butt of a good joke, and at worst, the vehicle can be seriously dangerous. When things go awry, manufacturers issue recalls to repair the problems. Here are some of the most famous, funny, and downright frightening automotive recalls from modern times. If you own any of these vehicles, please make sure to take care of the issue promptly because most of these recalls are just terrifyingly unacceptable. Before we go, if you're new, please consider subscribing to the channel. Number 10. Mazda 6 Sharing your car is generally a good thing. Sharing your car with spiders that can cause a fire is not. In 2014, Mazda announced that the company was recalling 42,000 of their 2010 to 2012 Mazda 6 sedans because of gasoline-crazed spiders. Yes, you heard that right, spiders. Apparently, yellow sack spiders are attracted to the hydrocarbons and gasoline. They can get inside the Mazda's fuel tank vent lines and spin webs. Those webs can block the lines, which overpressurizes the fuel tank, causing cracks. Cracks in the fuel tank are definitely undesirable. Gasoline is far more beneficial in the tank and the engine than dripping on the ground and causing your car to erupt in flames. Mazda attempted to remedy the problem by adding a spring to the canister vent line to keep spiders from crawling inside, but later, Mazda turned to a software update to solve the spider problem, ensuring that the pressure won't reach dangerous levels even if spiders manage to get inside the vents. Number 9. Mercedes-Benz Unrelated to nesting, gasoline-drinking spiders, Mercedes-Benz was forced to recall over 1 million cars and SUVs due to a risk of fire. According to Mercedes-Benz, a faulty fuse is the culprit and caused 51 vehicles to burn to the ground. In situations where the vehicle doesn't start on the first try, the faulty fuse can cause the wiring to the starter motor to overheat, which can melt the insulation and cause nearby components to catch fire. Sitting next to a fire should be relaxing and luxurious. Sitting next to your luxury car while it's on fire is not. The problem affects certain 2015 to 2017 model year C-Class, E-Class, CLA, GLA, and GLC vehicles. Number 8. Subaru Vehicles – Random Engine Startup This is a recall straight out of the twilight zone. Imagine looking out into your driveway and seeing your nice new Subaru sitting there. The keys are in the other room in the dish just waiting for you to grab them and go for a drive. And as you stare at your pride and joy, thinking about that drive, the engine starts all on its own, with no one in, on, or around the car. The issue is confined to select models equipped with company's optional AudioVox remote engine starter accessory. If the key fob is dropped, it could randomly transmit an engine start request without pressing the button. Models affected include the 2010 to 2013 Legacy, Impreza and Outback, and 2013 XV Crosstrek. All told, 47,419 vehicles are included in the recall. Should one of these cars start on their own, Subaru says they will run up to 15 minutes, but the vehicle may also continue to start and stop until either the battery in the fob dies or the car runs out of fuel. Of course, if one of these cars is parked in an enclosed area, that means harmful gases could build up, which could be dangerous if inhaled. Number 7. More Spiders What's the deal with spiders in cars? Is it an attempt to take over the world through automotive sabotage, or do they just love a good car? Either way, in 2013, Toyota issued a recall for 870,000 Camrys, Venzas, and Avalons, as spiders had invaded once again. Spiders had been found inside the air conditioning units where their webs blocked drain tubes causing condensation to drip onto the airbag control module. Water and electronics don't mix and the dripping water in the AC system caused the module to short-circuit, which could actually set off the airbags while you're driving. It's a case of either poor design or some very crafty spiders. Number 6. Toyota RAV4 Being in a car crash is scary. Being in a car crash and suddenly realizing that your seatbelt isn't holding you in is even scarier. That was the case for 3 plus million Toyota RAV4s between the model year 2006 and 2014. 
In 2016, Toyota found that the rear seatbelts were getting cut in car accidents, leaving passengers completely unrestrained in a crash. The problem wasn't the seatbelt, but rather the metal frame of the rear seats. In an accident, the frame could slice the belt, rendering it completely useless. Toyota issued a fix for the problem, a simple resin cover to prevent the metal frame from touching the belt. Honda Odyssey – Backwards Badges An average car has about 30,000 parts. Assembling all of those parts in the correct order and location is a complex undertaking. Major automotive manufacturers are apparently not immune to the challenges of correct assembly, as Honda found out in 2013. One of the finishing touches of car assembly is installing the badges, and on the 2013 Odyssey minivan, Honda managed to put it on the wrong side, which prompted a recall. Seriously? No. Embarrassing? Yup. Honda advised owners that the badge on the wrong side of the liftgate could affect resale values as it might appear that the car had been in an accident and repaired incorrectly. Bummer. Volkswagen and Audi – Diesel Emission Debacle Dieselgate recall in 2016. You knew we were going to get to this one. By now, everyone should be familiar with the massive scandal, cover-up, and recall surrounding Volkswagen and their diesel engines. But just in case you missed it, here's a very brief summary. Volkswagen and subsidiary Audi had been touting the efficiency of their diesel engines for years. Great fuel mileage, low emissions, great power. It seemed too good to be true. And it was. Volkswagen had applied a cheat code in the engine software to activate emissions controls during testing that were not active during normal driving. The result of this was 4.5 million vehicles recalled, billions of dollars in fines, and jail time for executives and engineers. 2007-2011 Toyota – Unintended Acceleration Oh boy, this was a bad one. Back in 2009, it was reported that various Toyota cars and SUVs could experience unintended acceleration. That is, the car would begin to accelerate without driver control. Toyota responded to an increasing number of reports about the issue by asking customers to remove their floor mats or have their dealership zip-tie the floor mats in place. This didn't fix the problem, and after a series of tragic accidents, Toyota was forced to recall close to 9 million cars trucks, and SUVs to replace sticking throttle pedals. It was revealed that Toyota knew about the problem and could have prevented the deaths of customers, but covered up the issue until it was investigated. General Motors – Airbag Sensor Module When you buy a modern car or truck, one of the things you typically consider is how safe the vehicle is in the event of a crash, how many airbags the vehicle has, how the crash structures are engineered, how many advanced safety features it has should all be taken into consideration along with how the vehicle performs under crash testing. Imagine the shock that GM owners felt when they were contacted and informed that there was a software glitch in the airbag sensing and diagnostic module, which prevents the deployment of the front airbags and the seatbelt tensioners. In total, 3.6 million cars, trucks, and SUVs from 2014 to 2017 model years were recalled by GM. Hyundai and Kia Fire Hazard Recall In 2023, Hyundai and Kia Motors issued a recall of 3.4 million of its vehicles in the United States with an ominous warning. The vehicles should be parked outdoors and away from buildings because they risked catching fire, whether the engines were on or off. According to the NHTSA, an electrical short could result in significant overcurrent in the ABS module, increasing the risk of an engine compartment fire while driving or parked. When they announced the recalls last year, the automakers reported that the defect had caused 56 vehicle fires and thermal incidents, which include burning, melting, and smoking. The affected vehicles are some of their top-selling models for the 2010 through 2017 years, including Hyundai's Santa Fe and Elantra and Kia's Sportage and Forte. And that wraps up our countdown of the 10 most popular vehicle recalls. We hope this video helped shed some light on important safety issues. Remember, staying informed about recalls is crucial for your safety and the safety of others on the road. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more automotive tips, news, and reviews. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Got a topic you'd like us to cover? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, drive safe.